Hey guys, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. We're going to look at a company that's pretty cool. This is a really great company. It's a powerful company. You know them very well. You know their products very well. In fact, and soon they're going to have a spin-off. One of their uh, segments is going to spin off an IPO. It's actually going to be very positive even for this company. It's definitely going to make the stock go higher now. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of things we're going to focus. One of the major things we're going to look at is probably the greatest thing that that uh, you'll hear, uh, the greatest thing that can happen to the history of our lives. Uh, this is really, really big news, right? Uh, first of all, before I begin, I want to thank username Quality Care, if I remember right. Quality Care. I don't know the name of the of the user. I never asked. I'm sorry about that. This person did tell me about this stock, so congrats to you, to you for your amazing uh, due diligence. And also Mike on our Patreon channel, congratulations to you also for your due diligence. You also told me about this stock. I knew the company from before. It's just that I, you know, when you cover so many things, you you um, don't uh, uh, watch the news for everything, right? There's like over 5,000 stocks, but I knew this company. It's, it's GlaxoSmithKline. This is a great company, right? GSK. So if we go over to the website Biospace or many other uh, scientific websites, let's say, there's a big thing going on here with, uh, with GSK. There is this, watch this now. Small study of GSK rectal cancer drug yields unheard of results. This is big. This is big. This is a small study right now that's going on. But this drug is in phase three. We're talking about a phase three trial small study so far that has yielded yes unheard of results that is because 12 patients 12 patients with stage 2 and stage 3 rectal cancer which is one of the most lethal cancers globally stage 2 stage 3 are you kidding me stage 3 if you're diagnosed with stage 3 you're pretty much done right unfortunately it's like terminal all right, um, and all 12 of them were given the choice to be experiments, let's say, and uh, receive GSK's uh, treatment, which may I also say one more thing, I'm gonna get off the subject now, that this drug was not actually developed by GSK. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Now, before I continue, this video is sponsored by Mumu, which is an amazing trading app, 18 million users, free NASDAQ level two. If you want, act, I mean, you get, you have zero commission, uh, commission free trading on all US stocks, exchange traded funds, everything. But if you also want to trade the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and everything that it offers, you can do that too with Mumu. It's so there's a, you know, every app has its ups and downs and uh, positives and negatives. Mumu has a ton of positives and a lot of extra features. Plus, if you deposit using my Mumu link, which will be in the comment section below, if you deposit anything you want, anything you want, there's no specific requirement, deposit whatever you want using my link to start trading, you get six free stocks worth up to $2,000, that's pretty cool. Six, so I mean, imagine depositing 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 100 bucks, and you get six free stocks, you're already a winner. Or you could deposit $2,000 if you want to, and you get 10 free stocks. Now let's go back to GSK. If we look at GSK, first of all, GSK is an amazing uh, biopharmaceutical company. They currently have, if you go to their pipeline, like I think over 20, and now I might be saying few, there probably is more. I, I did, there were so many, I didn't uh, screenshot everything. I just screenshot a few, but they have, um, so many so many drug developments in the pipeline it's insane this is a great long-term stock the stock right now is trading at about 43 dollars and 39 cents as i'm doing the video now we're focused on this specific part as you can see on your screen right now the drug that we're focused on is dostarlimab if i pronounce it right but probably killed it this is the one that they are in phase three right now for endo Metrial cancer, anti-program cell death protein one receptor antibody. There's so again endometrial cancer phase three and non-small cell lung cancer in phase two. As far as this drug is concerned, in phase three, let's go back to those 12 patients. Those 12 patients 
Uh, let me go to the article real quick. So in a small study of 14, I'm sorry, it was 14, 14 rectal cancer patients, researchers at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center published results where 100% of the 12 patients who completed treatment went into remission. This has never happened before. You understand that? We're talking about stage two, stage three. Basically, nothing really can help these people anymore. And 12 out of 14, out of the total 14 people who volunteered for the treatment, the 12 out of the 14 were, the cancer went into remission. I mean, this is insane. This is, this is, this is big. And this is a small study. If GlaxoSmithKline gets this thing approved one day, we're talking about a stock that's now trading at 43 and will be well over $100. Think about that. The study was of GlaxoSmithKline's uh, Gemper Leaf Hyperlines Dostarlimab, right? The one we just talked about, the drug, as a first line treatment for mismatch repair deficient locally advanced rectal cancer. The data was presented at the 2022 American Society of Clinical Oncology annual meeting and published in the New England Journal of Medicine. So Dr. Luis A. Diaz Jr., MD, uh, an author of the paper uh, said, I believe this is the first time this has happened in the history of cancer. Okay, let me read that again. I believe this is the first time this has happened in the history of cancer. This is insane, right? I mean, seriously, um, I'm thinking about investing big. I'm, I'm about to sell all my oil stocks and just dump them on GlaxoSmithKline and just wait, wait, wait for this thing to be approved one day because it's got to get approved. I mean, so far it's showing stunning results that have never, ever, ever, ever happened in the history of humankind, right? This sentiment was echoed by Dr. Alan P. Venuk, uh, who uh, an MD also, a colorectal cancer physician at the University of California, San Francisco, who was uh, not involved in the study, but called it unheard of. So the patients who participated in the study traditionally uh, had very difficult round of treatment that included chemotherapy, radiation, and probably surgery that would result in bowel, urinary, and sexual dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction is the least of these people's problems, and potentially the need for colostomy bags and so on. The most uh, likely expected, uh, they most likely expected, uh, they would have to undergo all those treatments after the clinical trial, and they didn't. Instead, as of right now, they do not require any further treatment. Okay, they don't require any further treatment. This is insane. I mean, I can't stress this enough. And now I understand this is a small study, obviously, and we may be too excited right now, getting early, you know, like, yeah, this is gonna be big. And in the end, I don't know what could go wrong, but maybe something goes wrong. And in the end, nothing happens. The thing that we would hope for is that something does occur and this thing does work and we get this, not just for the investors, for the most important part is not about investing, making money off of this. The most important part is seeing people get well on something that is traumatizing for their family, big pain and disaster for themselves, for the patients. Uh, it's, it's, you can't describe with words at all what these patients go through. I can't describe it because I haven't, you know, it's only, you would have to be in their shoes to understand what hell it is to go through cancer and be in stage three. The drug was administered every three weeks for six months in patients with mismatch repair deficient stage two or three rectal uh, cancer. It was to be followed by standard chemotherapy and surgery. Any patients who had a clinical uh, complete response after receiving the drug regimen would not require chemotherapy and surgery. The primary endpoints were sustained clinical complete response 12 months after completion of therapy or pathological uh, complete response and so on. So a total of 12, 12 patients completed the, the, the research and underwent at least six months of follow-ups. All 12 had a clinical complete response with no evidence of tumor on the MRI. Now, GS, now the positive news about the stock, if we want to look at something else, the GSK's measles vaccine wins FDA approval. That was on June 6. There is a spin-off, which is, there's a, what the spin-off is going to be a consumer healthcare interest made by, uh, the company is going to be called Halion. It's going to be a spin-off from GSK. The products that Halion makes are very well known. Advil, Centrum, Panadol, 
Voltaren is very known here in Greece. I don't know about the US. Um, Chapstick and so on. This company is going to be an IPO very soon. But it's also going to be very positive for GSK stock. The consumer healthcare business Halion is expected to be spun off in July of 2022. 80% of GSK's holding will be spun off to shareholders. 20% of GSK holdings will remain within the company to strengthen the financial position. So either way, the shareholder will win from this. The GSK ownership is 68% of Halion. Halion is expected to be a world leader in consumer healthcare with the expectation to benefit from organic revenue growth and profit margin expansion. In February of 2022, there was an additional information provided by management on what the plans are for Halion. So this is going to be awesome, right? July, we're looking forward to that. I'm excited about that. There's plenty of good news around GSK. You can buy the GSK stock, obviously, for that drug uh, with the rectal cancer. Then you have the Halion spinoff. It's very exciting stuff in coming up uh, in July. This is evident from the performance and improvement over the last seven years for Halion uh, consumer healthcare products. Revenue has grown by 12% on average since 2014, which is very good. It beat up by 18% and the margins expanded by 7.6 percentile points. All right, so I'm very excited. I'm very excited about GSK. I think that it's, personally speaking for me, I can't tell you, for, but personally speaking for me, I am definitely going to be invested in GSK for the long term. I'm very excited. They got a great pipeline anyways of a ton of things they're working on. And if they can just get this uh, uh, drug approved one day, it's going to be one of the greatest investments I ever made. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to both of you, uh, Mike and Quality Care, for amazing due diligence. Congratulations to both of you. And take care, everyone.